L is your quest journal. Oh, that's not it. Try J for journal. Nope. O, nope. Or if you just click it. Oh, it's in your. It's in the book. I forgot. Everything's in the tome. Everything's in the tome of knowledge. Uh, so liquor before beer. It is. I can share it. It's marked on my map. So all we gotta do hit the map. Murderwood supply lines. We did that one. Didn't really put a marker on there, so maybe it's just uh if you find it, great. Hmm. Interesting. Would have been nice if it was marked a little better, but you know, take what we get. Take the good with the bad. And we're just making our way back. I'm sure if we come back this way we might find that jug of corn whiskey somewhere. So I'm not terribly afraid that we didn't find it right then. And I forgot to program my middle mouse button to be the auto run. Dang it. Here's somebody. Let's turn this in. Hello, Olfred. Praise the gods. And we're done. 950 experience. I'll tell you this though. Um compared to some of the games that we've played here um, your levels don't come fast oh wow wow she's got some range really you just killed a cow <laughs> wait did he give a journal entry oh she just checked too I was like hey if you kill a cow and it gives a journal entry then you know we're on it but no journal entry alright I need to stick myself on follow to her. See? I told you, she knows what she's doing. She's already on her way back. She is fast. I'll just kind of cut through here. Try and catch up a little bit. I don't have any run buffs yet. Ooh, then we can also check and see if they've got a uh, class trainer so we can hit our level 2 skills. Because if I remember, you get them every other level. Oh, little dwarves are neat. Maybe I'll convince her to play dwarf one day. Finally. Supply lines. I ain't getting any younger. Horrors of war. All right, let me let me put my belt on. Thank you. How do I unlock these? Click to purchase the next group of backpack slots. They would cost one gold. I don't have near enough for one gold, so we'll worry about that later. I wonder if I can use the same trainer. I guess we use the same one. That's better than having to track down a separate class trainer for everybody. So I get... Oh, okay, never mind. I thought at level 2, but here it's at level 3. Uh, so path of the axe man so uh, you might get something every level so just every time you, you go up you might as well check the uh, trainer so I've got path of the axe man you train your pet to behave menacingly increasing its toughness and wounds by your toughness and wounds gained from items and increasing your chance to critically hit by five percent as long as you are at your target sides or back your war line will gain the ability to threaten its enemies the ability to reduce a foe's armor and the ability to snare its enemies well heck yeah that's a big buff especially if it taunts it then I get the bonuses for hitting it from behind or on the sides so I will definitely take that and is that it right there yep trained to threaten and we'll see how long of a buff Ooh, nice let's see Sigmar bless you where are my buffs there it is I don't see a timer, so that buff looks like it's good to go. So that's 
good. That just makes us that much stronger. Alright, so we are trained up. We can sell. I don't have much to sell, but... Browse. Sell that. I got these chaos symbols, so I'll sell those. Some silly shoes. What's wrong with these? No sell price, because that's probably what I started with. We'll discard those. You can come back anytime. Oh, thank you. Now, since we got some infamy, I'm wondering, or influence, I mean. Um, actually, look at that. Are you serious? We off that one. I got enough to pick all my items from the influence guy from that one public quest. So I'm going to take a potion of healing. I'm going to take this Templar's Crack Mail Coat. And then I have a choice of weapons here. They do the same damage, so I guess it's just a matter of... Weapon skill or strength? You know, to be honest, I don't know uh, what's important for a white lion. I'm not sure if weapon skill or strength is better. So, I'm just going to go with strength. I mean, they're probably both pretty good. Anyway, I just got a bunch of experience points, so... I'm going to drag my health down to the health bar for just emergencies. I'm going to right click and put on this new outfit. Are you serious? It, well, it's on. I mean, it's not like, ooh, very, very cool. But here goes the new weapon. Yeah, let's see, let's see what you got. Okay, yeah, that, that changed her quite a bit. Let's zoom in. Yeah, mine, mine gave a little jacket but it, no sleeves or nothing um, did you get a better bow or a sword and she got a better sword okay you know take the good with the bad alternate appearance available oh yeah okay well there we we picked up our first uh, well that I can't believe we got the influence off that one quest usually I, I remember we had I had to run it like a couple of times to get the uh, influence I needed but no complaints here. Uh, whenever you're ready, we got Horrors of War. I don't see any. I don't see any other quest givers, so we just got Horrors of War to run. Whenever you are ready. And I think she's got the hang of the game, so I'm just gonna sit back and let her. Let her path find. She's my pathfinder. See, I wonder if I can right-click follow. No. Let's see here. There it is. Follow. Uh, I should just check. Hey, Six Moon. Welcome. A little late. I didn't see. I don't. I didn't see a timestamp. I don't know when you showed up, but um, I don't know if you saw the public quest, but we got a public quest done, keep it off a big giant walking thing, and uh, basically we just we just kind of started, really. I mean, I could say we've done a whole lot, but, I mean, we're only level 3, so you haven't missed much. <laughs> so I told my wife, uh, there's a game, I, I don't know if you remember from last time we played the Warhammer, but it's got this Toma knowledge, and so... If you kill certain creatures, it unlocks a Tome of Knowledge entry. From there, it starts tracking achievements. Like if you kill a certain, you know, if you kill 25 of this, and uh, you can unlock experience. Well, I said, you know, it would not hurt then to kill one of everything you come across just to see what comes in the journal. And sure enough, she is shooting one of everything. So I'm very proud of her. So we might end up needing some of these. So if you are just coming in late, if uh, anybody checks us out, reminder, she's a Shadow Warrior. Is that what it was called? Shadow Warrior, which is a High Elf. We're both High Elves. I picked the uh, White Lion, which is why I've got Little White Lion. And what we're doing is letting her pull... Her archery skill works out really, really good. And this is typical of a lot of uh, online games, a lot of MMOs, where the ranger has like a crazy mad DPS, you know, just 
pincushion them, and they're done. Ooh, a Nurgling. Oh. Oh. Oh, and it's got twisting intestines as a uh, little, little reward. There it is. So, what we're doing is letting her pull, uh, and a lot of times she can kill it before it reaches us, and if not, then I'm here to back her up. Uh, because true to form, probably in a lot of these games, um, in the long run, she's not going to have as durable armor, and therefore, it's going to be hard for her to solo. So, we, we've got a good little tandem here. I've got my pet, which is a good additional DPS, plus it, it, I just got it a tanking skill. So I'm hoping that that will help hold aggro for the both of us. Because when we were doing the public quest, when we got to fighting the boss, uh, this... Whoa, hello. Oh, he's encouraged. Oh, I suppose i got to talk to these folks too. Okay. Anyhow, um, my pet did not pull any aggro and he was pretty much at whole full health the entire fight um, which meant I died because my pet would not pull aggro but that might be different now that he's got this ability and giant spiders and nurglings and spirit hosts and elder crabs so all those things that we just got done fighting have entries in the tome And so does the giant bat. So, so far though, it looks like the uh, first achievement you can get for all of these is talk, or not talk to, but kill 25. Let's see what happens if I... Uh, so I'm hoping to talk to somebody so I can complete that part of the quest we're on. Got, there's one. Okay. Have you got your five? Okay. Now the other problem we're having, if uh, you just got here, is at least my client, her client too. The game is streaming data. Uh, and with both of us streaming data, it's causing just a scoonch of some lag. That led to some interesting problems we had earlier where she shot something and it came all the way up to us and I went to engage it and it kept saying too far away even though it was standing right next to us and then when the lag finally cleared out it was back at the starting area so like it never actually reached us so um, it's, it's caused us a couple couple problems but it seems to have lessened so um, if there is still lag it is a lot better a lot more manageable Okay, I got all five. Nice, and that's all, all the marauders. A little extra there. And we got one there, the Jug of Corn Whiskey, which I'm not quite sure when or if we'll fulfill that one because it doesn't mark on our map where the approximate location for it is. So if we find it, we find it. If we don't find it, we don't find it. Oh, oh, that's the boss from the public quest. Now we could get in on that action and help them kill it because somebody's there. That's pretty impressive. That definitely gives a sense of scale right there. Pushing stuff over. That's nice. That really makes you feel like you're fighting something big. That's for sure. Okay, see my my pet is holding the aggro. That means now when I attack from the sides or the back, I get to do that much more damage. Oh, it fell right on me. Good thing you don't die when they fall on you. Now, because we come just right here at the butt end of the uh, public quest, we're not getting an opportunity to participate. Oh, I sure am. I have the 